Hey folks, busy time as we just got the new rules for May's highly anticipated TLP servers in the EverQuest producers letter. Before we check those out, we got a behind the scenes glimpse into the thought process of the rule set from Jay Chan herself at this year's PAX, which came out with the producers letter itself. So let's see what she had to say. Yeah, we're continuing to work on it and see what sticks to the wall, right? <laughs> throwing spaghetti ideas at the wall. <laughs> um, but okay, I jest that was in response to something else, but it's basically a new mischief and a new Aerodune server. Except Aerodune won't have the defining server rules of limited boxing to two per person, so I guess it's more of a Mangler remake than an Aerodune one. Hopefully we won't get COVID as well to turn that into a Aerodune remake. Oh, and there's no encounter locking on either of those two servers. Anyway, Teak Rules, Tormax Drools is about all you need to know about this. If you want some of those good Vanicky claims for the servers, I'll be hosting a bunch more runs on Vanicky, so be on the lookout on this channel for announcements. I'll be doing food clickies, Eldons for the Token of the Magus, and Western Waste Ports mostly, and maybe a few other the cosmetic items here and there. All of those runs will be free. Anyway, the thing I wanted to spend most of the time on this video about was a quick reaction to something in the devs video from PAX East. The whole video is up on YouTube. I found it interesting and may be worth a watch if you have the time. The part I wanted to bring up here though was really buried at the very end, so let's take a quick watch. Um, my, my biggest concern right now is moving forward for like future games or future expansions. Is there any way that you're planning to keep in check like the the constant botters and uh, like uh, plat farmers and things like that that have kind of destroyed a lot of the economy for uh, new or returning gamers that may have taken a break for a while and came back to everything being extravagantly overpriced. Well, I'm going to start with we don't like them either, right? Uh, obviously, they are not great for the community building aspects of our game, um, but it is a constant, you know, it's, it's an arms race for us. Um, certainly, we don't want people to be doing things like this, and we're constantly trying to figure out ways uh, to kind of squash down a lot of that as best as we can. I know that we are working on some research projects internally to try to make a big dent. Um, I don't know if you want to talk about any of that, Lucy, or just leave it at that. Um, I know it can feel like things don't happen fast enough or the teachers just come back. It is very frustrating for me personally. Um, I would say that we do work on it all the time, even when it feels like nothing is happening. Um, a lot of the people who bought an EQ are very heavily invested in avoiding detection and they can spend all of their time on that. And our development team only spends part of our time on anti-cheat things. So usually they stay, unfortunately they have been staying one step ahead of us in more recent times. But we do have things coming this year that should hopefully help. And our time is up, so I'm sorry we can't take any more questions. Okay, and this conversation is over. <laughs> it was actually the end of their room time, so that's fair. So I really do appreciate that they appear to be frustrated by it, but the problem here is not one of a research project, or frankly one dev should be spending an iota of time tackling. That's just way too valuable of a resource to deal with that sort of stuff. So without that, how do you sort it out then? Well, look, you guys are hiring CS for $16 an hour. Go have one of them pop into Siren's Grotto, or Freeport, or hell, most anywhere and look at what's going on. You can sort this problem out for a few thousand dollars easily. I'd even venture that the reclaimed chrono on accounts you ban would pay for the work itself. Something to think about, guys. Alright, hope everyone's getting hyped for the new servers, and remember to sub and turn on notifications for all those Vanicky free runs I'll be doing here. And good luck out there, everyone.